Hi all! I have always in my mind to uh, find a way how to export from Blender, but still uh, somehow keep the possibilities to select each separate object and then in Photoshop to tweak it out, like uh, adding a curve uh, to certain elements or, uh, I don't know, maybe change the hue and something like this. Then I find out that uh, in the EXR format, uh, you can export with uh, Cryptomate um, possibilities and then uh, now the new Cryptomate importer into Photoshop can handle these uh, files and can import also the Cryptomate uh, parts from Blender. So how I have done it? Uh, I follow uh, two tutorials. Actually, one is... Uh, by William Fauche, which is using uh, from Unreal Engine to export into uh, EXR and keeping the Cryptomate. Uh, his part showing exactly, he's showing exactly how you can uh, have each element as a separate object. <laughs> then uh, I using this EXR IO uh, importer, which you can actually install it from uh, Photoshop Cloud. Uh, the plugin section and then also I am using this free add-on in Blender Render Layer Manager. This Render Layer Manager uh, make it e very easy to create the compositor nodes for exactly what you need. So I will show to you. Here is in Blender uh, I have it installed uh, this uh, and I will show it because one second you have this settings here. Normally, the original settings is without dot. I have changed this with dot, diff dot, diff dot, or gloss dot, because when I import uh, the file into the Photoshop, if it's uh, a prefix like this in Photoshop, then it will group automatically. Unfortunately, it's not working yet for the crypto objects. I think it's a bug somewhere, but we will see that. Okay, so uh, I have here uh, the combined elements uh, and then diffuse transmission. Everything is checked on right, right now. But I will show to you in Compositor. Here you can go to Compositor. Then you have this Render Layer Manager and you create the nodes. It will automatically create the nodes for you and it will save the files in this location and automatically create everything here. What is not creating, it is a bug, but I already uh, sent it and reported it to the render layer manager guy uh, to connect the crypto ones. I will show to you, uh, now I will not render it for live because it's uh, take time. But if I uncheck these ones, you can see on the left that also uh, the nodes are disappearing. So you just recreate the nodes. I am reconnecting the crypto. And if I export it like this, it will export only these uh, layers. So in Photoshop, I will show to you, this is uh, the first one, the missing crypto where the crypto it's not connected okay if i'm open with two passes then i can see that i have this two one and the crypto elements now let's see if for example i want to change this dog so if i uh, hold on control and click on the image i will automatically get selected uh, this object and then I add the hue saturation and I uh, move the hue saturation above this that's correct and you can see that with one click I can change the color of that specific uh, element so I can do anything I want after uh, that so with each crypto layer it's selecting the wall the ground one dog second dog third dog if i have 1000 element of course i should have here 1000 layers but it's still okay 
because you can select everything correctly. Then, of course, I can show if I export all the passes. It's looking like this. Every uh, the deep one, the extra wow I called for with the uh, extra uh, shadow catcher and uh, stuff like this, and gloss and translucency, volume, whatever. And the crypto files, which is they are not in the crypto folder, but also I can move into the crypto folder. So from here I can very easily do advanced composition in Photoshop. I hope uh, this tutorial was helpful for you. Maybe see you later.